Today I'm going to be tying the October Caddis. Simple fly with just three materials in it and uh, very effective in the fall uh, when the large October Caddis are out. Um, them on a Tiemco 52-12 hook, um, size 8. It's a 2XL and then a 1X fine hook. Whiting Pro Saddle. The dubbing I'll be using is MFC's UV Frog Hair Dubbing um, in the orange. A cow elk hair. It's darker than the uh, darker than bull elk. Okay, let's get started tying. I'm going to start off with a Danville three aught thread, and I'm going to start at about the three quarters mark of the hook and work my way to the bend of the hook to tie on the thread. The first thing I'm going to do is um, tie in the hackle. To prep the hackle, you want to strip some of the fibers off of the stem. And then we're going to lay the hackle vertically to the hook. And then we're going to do a figure eight around the hackle stem. And then we're going to tie the rest of the stem to the hook. Then with the thread behind the hackle, we're going to take some of the orange frog hair dubbing and we're going to dub a, a noodle. You want to make sure that the you, you don't dub too thick of a noodle. It's better, in my opinion, to have a longer noodle and do a sparser dubbing. And it's always easier to add more dubbing. It can be, depending on the type of dubbing you're working with, it might be harder to take that away. So we're gonna just dub a thin body for this fly. And we'll just take just a tad bit more dubbing. To leave plenty of space for the head. And we're gonna just plumber wrap the hackle leaving a space in between each wrap so that the body does come through. If you don't have a brown hackle, you, you can use a grizzly hackle. I like how the brown um, goes well with the orange. Now, I have thread base so that where we're going to tie on the elk. Um, take some cow elk, um, clean it, um, cut it off and then clean it. I like to take use a little comb and clean out the under fur. Now this is a nice sized chunk of elk. You're going to stack it and you're going to take that with your left hand and pull it out. If there's any errant fibers you can pluck those out. Then with your right hand, you're going to estimate about how long that wing is. It's going to be about the length of the hook. I'm going to transfer it to my left hand again, hold it on top of the hook, take two gentle wraps around it, then tighten it a little bit, take two more, and then really tighten it. Now this is a good chunk of hair, so going to take a, a lot of wraps and so what I like to do is take about a third of it and go in between that and wrap that and then take another third. What this is doing is making sure it doesn't um, twist around the hook because if it's this much hair it will just go right around the hook if you don't secure that tightly. So then on the way back, we're going to do it about halfway through. 
then you can see you can do a little tug and see that that is secured to the top of the hook we're going to do a couple more and then when you come back to where you tied it in you're going to do a couple loose wraps and tighten a couple loose wraps and tighten until that is secure to the hook and then to finish it off we're going to take all that we're going to um, finish it off at the eye with a couple wraps and then we're going to do a whip finish by holding all of the hair back and do a whip finish around the eye of the hook i'm going to cut the thread off and now is for finishing the fly the, it, most of the work is done with the head and we're going to take all of those ends sort of pull them forward then we're going to cut at an angle about the same angle as the eye so then we're going to just trim up that head by going around now if there's any um, errant butt ends you can just pluck them off um, could be a, a completed fly but if you want to refine the head just a little bit more and if you're brave you can take a lighter and just run it through the head a little bit and singe that elk hair and it will give it a um, a, a cleaner head the the last step if you want to have a more flowing uh, wing if you want it to lay down a little bit more um, after it's finished you can lightly lightly damp it and then you can take a straw and cut the straw and then you just place that over the the wing and then when you are uh, overnight and then when you're done when you take it out it will be a more uh, sleek look thank you for watching and uh, if you enjoyed this video uh, please click the subscribe down below and um, watch for more videos from me thank you